Hello everyone and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to build Master of Light Sun God Freya. So obviously Freya is a regular character and he came out just after Bloody Ellie, so quite a while ago, but he is a very needed character when it comes to PvE content. The main PvE content that he's needed for currently is the dogs, because, well, you get Ignites and his passive actually makes you completely immune to Ignites. He also buffs your entire team's stats by 15%, and his own stats by 30%, which is very useful. He has a cleave single target card, which is very powerful. For some reason, this is like the most broken card in the game when it comes to damage. And then you have a cancel stances, which is very useful on the dogs. So Freya's stats overall, his crit chance is horrible, his crit damage is very good. Uh, the rest of his stats are just very mediocre, to be fair. Uh, unfortunately with Freya, for the high uh, high tier PvP content, you do want to have him, like, I want to say 3 to 4 6. I was unlucky and only got him 1 6 in a whole rotation, which is very depressing, but that's just how it is sometimes. Anyway, uh, we then go to outfits. He doesn't really need outfits. Obviously, if you want to get him outfits, you can, but... Actually, it may be better for you to get the weapons if you're doing dog and you want to use him as like, and you got him 6 6, then go for it. If you have him 6 6, go for it. If you don't, then I don't think it's really worth it. Thankfully, he doesn't have a relic yet, which means his relic could be like, very helpful for PvE content. He's not very a good PvP con uh, character. He's got a death ultimate, which is also very good, but the, the stance single target card, not really the best. His passive, most times in PvP, you're not going to run into a Kyo, and if you do, you know, you can probably just kill kill Kyo turn one because most teams now have a uh, a one turn DPS sort of uh, thing they can do. But his cards overall are very good for PVE. Uh, he has attack crit dam because you want him you want his crit damage to be as high as humanly possible, so that his uh, uh, cleave card actually does a lot of damage. Uh, as you can see, my rolls aren't the best. Uh, let me show you his um, damage I can get him to do. Let me show you here. That's with horrible rolls, and only that's only one six. So see this passive here. So this buff only lasts for two turns, and when that buff then disappears, he then gets a blue buff, which is just the normal stat increase for five percent. He can get up to three of those stat increases, so he ends up getting about fifteen percent from the, this buff, which will always stay here, and then fifteen percent from the other buffs. So he gets about 30% stats by himself, which is actually pretty good. Bear in mind, it actually buffs all his stats, including his crit chance. So he ends up having about 80% crit chance, which is not actually too bad. In like, in terms that he can buff himself to a, a decent degree. Obviously, let's try the cleave card now. I do have an extra buff. That's not too bad. But his ultimate, as you saw when it crit, it does hit like, obviously he didn't crit there. But that's the reason uh, his buff is really helpful, is that when he crits, it actually makes his crits hit really hard, because he already has a really high base crit damage. But that's really it with Freya. All you really need to know is that he's attack crit dam, you don't need outfits, uh, you need high ult level for the big damage for the bosses, especially for dogs. Uh, Karin doesn't have a relic, so when he gets one it may actually be really good and really help with PvE content. He's more of a PvE character than a PvP character, that's a very main point there. You can't really use him that much in PvP because, well, you know, characters like Barn is still actually in the meta, which is actually a current team I'm currently using. And his rupture all ruptures every other team, especially with Reinhardt on the team now, you can't win. If, a, if you're versing a 6-6 Reinhardt, and you have a 6-6 Barn, and you only have a 1-6 Reinhardt, that 6-6 Reinhardt gets an off, you're dead. Um, his passive is very good, and his cards are very good for the content that he was designed for. Anyway, that's really it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are currently on the road to 50 subscribers, and we're actually doing pretty well. Recently, we've gained a lot of subscribers, and I'm really thankful for that. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.